A girl of mass 54 kilograms climbs up a 7 meter rope at a constant speed in 53.8 seconds. What power does she expend during the climb? Okay, so once again we see that we have mass, we have displacement, okay, and we have time. Okay, so time, we have the change in her time, and we have two formulas to choose from for power. We either have that it's work done over the change in time, or power is equal to the force, okay, the force in the direction of uh, displacement times velocity. And this is constant velocity. So which one can we use? Well, we can use work. Uh, because with work, in this case, would be force in the direction of displacement times delta x. Okay, we can do that. Or we can use this one, but then we in any way have to change velocity to delta x over delta t. Okay, so either way, it, it wouldn't make a difference. So let's just we'll use the first one. So we have to calculate work, we take the force in the direction. Okay, now how are we going to do force in the direction of motion? Well, we have her mass. Now, if she is climbing up a rope, she is overcoming her weight, which is downwards. Okay, so weight is downward, which is mass times gravity. She's going upwards, so that's the force in the direction of her motion which must be the same as weight, just in the opposite direction. Okay, we're going to take it as positive since we're working with uh, scalars here. So, the force in the direction of motion is her mass times gravity, okay, times the change in displacement over, okay, and this is in the same direction. She's the force is being applied upwards, and her movement's also upwards. And that is being displaced in delta t. Okay, now what else you notice here is that this is simply potential energy. Change in potential energy. Okay. Change in potential energy. And that is the work done by the gravitational force. She's going in the opposite direction, so uh, that's why it's positive. And her mass is 54 kilograms. Okay. Gravity we take at... 9.8, let's so take it positive, 9.8, displacement is 7 meters, and the change in time is 53.8 seconds. And then we get an answer of, what do we get, let's use the calculator, we get 54 times 9.8 times 7, is equal to divided by 53.8 power is 68.86 6 Six, uh, power is 68,86 watts confirm that looks good that's the amount of power she exerts while she's climbing up this rope at a constant speed if she does it in 53.8 seconds. Cool.